All right, guys. It's the next day. And I had to do a lot of modifications on this. And this is going to be one messed up video because how I'm going to have to clip it together. But if you stayed with me to the end, you finna see something about this Vivor sharpener they sent me. little homestead slash pebbles place a little bit about everything guys today I got me a lawnmower blade sharpener made by Vivor and guys I'm gonna have a little clip here showing you how to assemble it and what I went through setting it up and what I did to get it set up the way I want it now they sell one online called the yellow hornet but it cost about twice as much as this fee board here, and I really couldn't see no difference in them. But this here, the purpose of it is, I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to hold it up first. But you see this here has got your 30 degree angle, which is what your blade's supposed to be sharpened on, a 30 degree angle. Now all of my life I just used a hand grinder here and eyeballed it and sharpened them. I was doing my personal yards and stuff, but now that I'm doing a yard care business and I'm sharpening blades once a week, as you can see on this blade here, I hope you can see, I'm going to show you later on on a close-up, this blade here has done got off. It ain't near about 30 degrees. So I decided to buy me this, and it, like I said, it's made by b Line Lawnmower Sharpener. I call it a template. You got to have your own grinder and the way I got it set up here I got it set up on an angle because I like it on one side that's the side I'm gonna be standing on over there pulling it through this away about an eighth of an inch off my grinder disc and on the back side here it don't matter because it ain't touching the blade when you lay it up there flat and pulling it through your grinding is on this one side so that's anywhere from a half inch, three quarters, whatever, whatever fits your grinder. Now as you see in this clip that I'm gonna play, play for y'all, mine's a four inch black and decker grinder. They sent this four inch disc blade 60 grit. I have some of my own here, 60 grit. I think a little better quality than what they sent, but still, Anything from 40 to 80 grit. 80 just takes you a little longer to get it cut down. I like the 60 grits myself. And that's what I've been using the whole, for years, just doing it by hand. So we finna get y'all around here and I'm gonna sharp, sharpening these blades. Like I said, I'm gonna have to work mine down to get them back to the 30 degrees. I just got this in the mail today. Been waiting on it because I knew I'd done got mine off eyeballing it. And we've been to get around there and we're going to see how this works. Now the setup is going to be different for any different model grinder. And that's, they should have put slots back here and you'll see this in the clip I'm going to show y'all. They should have put slots in here so you could adjust this. Or either a slot back here in the part that holds the grinder where you can slide it back and forth to fit any grinder. So I had to do a little modification and instead of using it to where I can bolt it since I'm using this Black & Decker drill, I just tack welded mine. If I ever had to, my grinder quit here and I had to change the grinders, I just cut that tack weld and readjust it for whatever grinder I purchased. Now, I don't know about the yellow hornet, but just looking at the pictures of it, it ain't got no adjustment neither, but it might do. I mean, that's something you need to check out yourself if you're interested in one of these. But the thing is, it's twice the price as this in here made by b -more. And this in here by b -more, I mean, that's, that's heavy metal, guys. That's heavy. Heavy as it needs to be for, for what it is. So it didn't bother me to have to do a little modification and a little tack weld there to save 50 or $60. Now for what 
the yellow hornet cost, I could have just made my own out of some scrap metal. But it would have took time and getting it just right. But for the price of this b-boy here, that's why I went with the b-boy and ordered it. And I'll put a link in the description below this video if you're interested in one. Matter of fact, I'll put you a link where you can get the yellow hornet if you like it. Like I said, from what I've seen, I couldn't see see enough difference in them to be a, twice the price. Unless they have slots in them where you can adjust this and you ain't got to do no modifications for whatever style grinder you got. So right now I'm going to just play y'all the clip of me assembling this and what I had to do explaining, setting it up. And then after that clip, we're going to show y'all a little clip of me sharpening the blades on this. But what we got here comes with a sheet of paper installation procedure. Step one, two, three, and four. But this here is a lawnmower blade sharpening jig from B Boy. Made a good heavy metal, I'll tell you that. So we got the bottom plate. Like I said, it's made by b -bor. This piece will go right there with a bolt through the bottom. And this little piece right here, I bolt right there. I'm gonna throw the box over here out of the way. Or set it over out of the way. And inside the bag, they send you a little pair of Michael Jackson gloves here to, I guess, to wear when you're using this. They also send you a, that looks like probably about a 40 grit this to put on your hand grinder which I've got in mind they look a little heavier duty than that you got a little wrench here that looks like a spark plug wrench what that looks like with a Phillips screwdriver on the end you got an oatmeal 17 millimeter with a 14 millimeter on the other end a hose clamp and your bolts and wash So guys, this is pretty straightforward. The three bolts is the same. Three lock washers, three flat washers. You just gonna put a lock washer and a flat washer. And you wanna make sure this slope, this is a 30 degree angle. Pointing this away toward where your grinder's gonna be on here. See, this video here is just assembling it, this clip. Then we gonna actually do a video on how to use it. This piece right here has got a little notch and it's got a hole that goes in it. And that's cause this little V shape here is where you grinder it don't come with the thill you're gonna have to use your own hand grinder or purchase you want like that's the 14 millimeter which is the small end of this spark plug wrench you better get that good and tight now, 
I don't know what the different size on the other ends for. And I don't really know what the wrench. But 14 millimeter on that end don't fit nothing that comes with it. That's a 17 millimeter, but you can use the wrench or the socket there. The hose clamp goes right around here. Guys, we've been to go in there and I'm gonna get my hand grinder and bring out here and we'll show you how to mount. Now guys, right here I got just a black and decker four inch grinder that I purchased from Wally World. And this grinder ain't gonna work on this V bore because it's too far away from here. I'm gonna stick one of my other grinders on there and if it don't work, the next scenario is drill me some more holes in this right here where I can adjust this bracket back and forth. And that's probably what I'm gonna do because I want it to fit this grinder right here. Like I said, now this is made by Bevor, and I'll put a link in the description below. It's, it's made a good heavy metal for what it is, and y'all see after a while when we get it set up on using it. But there's actually one sold under yellow something or other. I'll put the name of it in the screen here because I can't rightly remember. But it's like twice the price. Now, one of the things about it, it may have had slots here that's adjustable to where I'm going to have to make mine work to actually use this grinder. Because you got to have your grinder right out here. You want one side about a... Now I'll show y'all up close once I actually get it set up. You want one side about a quarter of an inch from this front edge of this bottom edge of this 30 degree slope. And you want this side back here somewhere from three three quarters and an inch. And that's something I'll play with and get it how I want it once I set it up. But this is to sharpen your lawnmower blades on and keep that perfect 30 degree angle. So, right now, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to drill me some more holes to make mine adjustable because I want to use this grinder. So after I drill me some more holes, i get back with y'all. But now if you want one that you don't have to work on, like I said, that other brand, I have to look. And once I look, I may show sure put a attach a picture in here if it's adjustable there or if it's adjustable here to where the, this here ain't got enough adjustments on it. But for half the price, I can drill me two holes in here and make this work. First up, I'm gonna go on and mount my Actually, the clamp they see in with this one ain't big enough neither to go around this grinder. Guys, I was wrong about their clamp. Their clamp will fit. I was trying to put it on wrong. There you go. See, I'd have got these directions out and looked at them. Well, actually, no, I couldn't have caught the directions. Don't even show you nothing about putting your grinder on there. So if you ain't seen one of these on YouTube or something other, you wouldn't even know what the thing's for because the instructions come with it. Don't even show nothing about the grinder. Don't even tell you it's a lawnmower blade sharpener. Gee. <laughs> but this clamp don't go all the way around there. It goes right through that slot. So therefore, the clamp will work. Now 
and a clamp I had is a little heavier duty, I think. So I think I'm gonna go on and use my clamp. Yeah, my clamp, my clamp I had in the shed there is heavier duty than the clamp they sent. So I'm gonna put my clamp, and then I might put their clamp on there too once I get it set just right. That way it won't move. So, I'm going to put their little clamp right here. I think I zoomed y'all in where you can see that. But I'm going to turn that. You want to make sure the top of your wheel here is about an inch above the bottom of there. It ain't no... Got to be precise inch, just as long as it's up there where your blade's going to be hitting on that wheel. But see, now I'm going to undo these bolts here. That's probably why these is half price, because uh, they won't work with just any. They ain't got no adjustment on them. But I got a little plasma cutter there that I can cut me a slot in here with. And guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this slot where these bow toes are. I'm going to cut, make it a slot. That way I can adjust. Hope y'all can see that. Take my plasma cutter and I'm gonna cut a slot right there. And then I can adjust this in or out as far as I need it. And as far as this needs to be adjusted in, it ain't gonna leave much on there. I'm on the wrong side. I got to turn this around this way to use it. Because the blade's got to be pulled through. I'm going to lay your lawnmower blade on there just like that. y'all see that that's why you want it on the side you own to be narrow and your other side they say an inch but I ain't that inch is too far look to me like it's gonna need to be about an eighth inch about a half inch I'm gonna try my other wheel and see if it sticks out further this away. I put their wheel on there because mine, the only one I got in the shed is an 80 grit. But I'm gonna put it on there because their little wheel here. Also, also I may be able to put that wheel on the other way and it'll kick it on out there. Let me see. All right, guys, we're gonna try taking this wheel back off. And put it on. No, that ain't gonna work. I had it on right, because if you flip it over, that carries it back the other way. Let me go get my wheel and see if it's any taller right here. My wheel I had here is an 80 grit, but I like about a 60. And you can go down to a 40. There's here, it could be a 40. It feels pretty gritty, but ain't nothing wrote on it. But no, that don't work neither. So guys, I'm gonna undo this grinder and I'm gonna see 
I might can do something right here and put between my grinder and this V and make my grinder step out. It ain't gonna step out that far though. I need a good inch. So I'm going to see what I'm going to come up with. <laughs> and I'll get right back with y'all. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing here, instead of cutting slots in here, I know that I'm going to use this 4 inch grinder. And apparently it's meant to be a 4 inch because they sent a 4 inch grinder wheel with it. But in order Instead of cutting them slots there, I just adjusted mine the way I wanted it, and I tack welded it. Now, yeah, I guess I could get me some yellow paint and paint it back up, but I really ain't worried about that. But the object here, this is at 30 degrees. This keeps a 30 degrees on your blades as you sharpen them. Now, all of my life, I've just been mowing my own yard until I started the yard care business and now I'm shortening blades once a week and doing it once a week I can put this blade in there and I just been doing them by hand and I do balance them when I do that I got a video on how to sharpen blades but I forgot to put in that video to balance your blades and some people reminded me of that and I did forget to put in there but anyway you lay this on this 30 degree angle flat and then you just pull it across that grinder and it'll cut you a pretty keep that 30 degrees on this blade now mine I done got these laid back way past 30 degrees so this first one's here when I go to working on them I'm probably gonna use up a whole disc getting them back to 30 degrees but that's why I purchased this Vivor blade sharpening kit. I don't know if you call it a kit or profile or what you actually the name of. <laughs> like I said, they got some they call the, the yellow, yellow something other. I'll put it in the screen here, the name of it. I went back and looked at them and I tried to attach y'all a picture. It don't show that the word they adjustable neither. So maybe my grinder, this black decker is a little smaller and don't stick out as much, but either way, this is the grinder I got and this is what I'm going to put on here. And if that, something happens to this grinder and I have to get another and I can cut them little tack wheels and I can move this back. But we finna go around there and we gonna test her out and show y'all how she works. But like I said, you can see when I'm pulling that blade through there, I'm going to get y'all around here and show you this up close. You can see that's a 30 degree angle, guys. I'm going to try to lay my blade. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I done got mine. It ain't on 30 degrees no more. It's getting back there around 40 degrees. But we have been to go around there and test her out and see how she works.
All right, guys. It's the next day. And I had to do a lot of modifications on this. And this is going to be one messed up video because how I'm going to have to clip it together. But if you stayed with me to the end, you finna see something about this Vivor sharpener they sent me. I finally got it to where it cuts me a pretty, about, that's about a 32 degree cut instead of a 30. And I'm going to get y'all over here and show y'all what I discovered. Now I'm going to attach y'all some pictures of this V-Bore that they show. And I'm going to attach y'all some pictures of the Yellow Hornet. And I want y'all to pay close attention to the angle, how steep it is right here. Now, I don't know what they did, but they sent me this one. And if you'll go back in the beginning of this video, you'll see this was welded straight up and down. And that angle wasn't steep at all. What they did, they welded this on a 30-degree angle, but that don't make a 30-degree cut on your disc. So I don't know if I just got a lemon that they screwed up on or what. But anyway, instead of sending it back, calling them and sending it back, I wanted to do some modifications on mine anyway to make it fit my grinder better so I had to raise it up but in order to get this degree I don't know what degree that's on because I actually had to take wood and cut this out in order to figure out that I'm cutting making a 35 degree I'm sorry this is a 35 degree cutting on my blade so what I did I cut 35 degrees on a board and got it set then I cut this down here at an angle, and I put it on two pieces of angle iron. Because I needed mine raised up. So my Black & Decker grinder would fit in here just right. So while I was doing it, I went on and put mine on some slots in this angle iron. So if I use a different grinder, this grinder quits, and the other grinder needs a different adjustment, I can move this in and out and use it with different grinders. Now, I just got mine clamped on the table here just so it won't move around. But after I got this in, and I assembled it, and I started trying to use it, and y'all seen that part in the video. I stopped, and I went in, and I started doing research and looking at them, and I'm like, something ain't right around this. And I should have known when I first started sharpening that first blade, I mean, that wasn't near about enough angle on that blade it was sharpening. And when I mean angle on the blade, I'm talking about angling here. It was real steep. And I did think something, but I, I said, well, I just got mine bad off. But the more I sharpened on mine, the more I looked, I said, that ain't right. So I just quit. And after I got in the house and I started looking at pictures and looking at them on YouTube videos, and I said, well, they done sent me one. That they didn't have this here on their right angle. It, you, it's very obvious looking at their picture to one mine one they sent. And if I didn't knew all that in the beginning, I could have built this. I'd have had to go get me some metal because I didn't have enough scrap metal here. But I could have went and got the metal and built it myself. But like I said, I didn't purchase this and I didn't want to have to call them and try to send this back and all that kind of stuff. So I just didn't take me very long to make that. Plus, if they would have sent me another one, it wouldn't have been adjustable neither. And I wanted mine adjustable, because like I said, this grinder quit. The next grinder I get may not be the width right here, and I may need to slide that back or something. So I got mine now where it's adjustable. 
And guys, I really like this because you can see, I don't know how well y'all can see, but that makes just like a factory cut on it. Now, it is something that you're going to have to play with and get used to. On the Yellow Hornet, they show putting their disc closer on this side and leaving a gap on this side and starting back there cutting. Well, that wasn't working on these blades. This is off my Spartan. So they got that little dippy do I call it. goes down and back up. So you got to keep it on this flat spot right back there. So I had to use mine put the gap on the side I'm standing on and pull it toward me like that in order to keep this flat spot. Now my blades to my bad boy over there, they pretty much straight all the way across. They ain't got this little dippy do in them. So it would work. It works the way I got it or I could turn my grinder here. I could loosen the band here and turn it and I could actually use it from the other side. So that's something you're going to have to play with if you get one. But if you get one, I don't know if I would go with V-Bore or not. Y'all need... I'm sweating out here this morning. Y'all need to do your research on them. Or, but their picture shows it on a steep incline like that. Now, they don't show it on this angle and all that. I've done that just so I could use this bracket. But they really work fine, guys. And I wanted to show y'all this modification that I had to do because, like I said, the one they sent me by no means was right. And I don't know if I just got one that was screwed up or what. Or maybe v boys selling something and not showing the proper picture for it. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go purchase the V-Bore or you can get the Yellow Hornet. The Yellow Hornet cost a little more, but I couldn't see no difference in them after I went back and started looking at the pictures and looking at them on YouTube. Or I couldn't see no difference in the pictures of the V-Bores. The... Now, there was a difference in mine after I got it. But guys, like I said, I've been sharpening several blades today, playing after I got it all set the way I want it before I wanted to finish this video since it's so chopped up. But that's, that's going to be nice being able to now just come out here and I can keep that bevel going, keeping it pretty and straight. Like I said, now mine wasn't that pretty when I started out. It's just like anything else. You got to get used to it and get the feel of it. And that's using a 60 grit wheel. And it's cutting good. So, I hope this little video helped someone out. Maybe you got one of these things and you're trying to research it. Maybe they sent you one wrong too. Well, if they did and you ain't into modifications like I am, I wish you I'd call them and send it back to them. But if these little videos are helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. Like and share my videos. And as always, I hope y'all have a great day, a great week. God bless. See y'all next time.